Well, hello everyone. This is Etta again. And what I want to talk about is the senior citizens and the people that is on Social Security. I don't know how everybody else feels about it, but they said tighten your belt that again this year, two years in a row, that we will not get a living wage increase on our Social Security. So, you know, my husband and I are very lucky that we can tighten our belt and we feel that we can get by uh, by not having an increase. And <clears throat> but we not only we still take care of our children. Now you take Cree Ingalls, my daughter, she's bipolar, and she is on Social Security disability because she is unable to work because of her emotional uh, instability that she has, and so therefore, since she is our daughter, that we have to come in and naturally we have to help her uh, a lot during the year uh, especially with her car there she hasn't had a car that we haven't given her and then we have to help keep it up and uh, then there is Lester our oldest son he had cancer when he was 10 years old and we were told that he would not live even for a year well he's still a living and he uh, was born in 1963 so he's 47 right now and as the years went by from having cancer, uh, it just his hip is not as large as one of the other hips, and his leg is a little bit shorter. And uh, since they went in and cut him open two or three times and took little bits and pieces out of him when he was younger to see if the cancer has spread or where it's gone to that it has cut some muscles and and it has disabilitated him he tried to work for years but then he just his veins and everything else has not developed right and he's had gone into surgery after surgery after surgery and he is on disability too and he only gets uh, just a small amount because he never got to work all that length of time to build up Social Security for himself and so my husband and I have to help him and now Cree has got some little insurance of some sort through Medicare and uh, through the Oregon health plan of some sort so she does get most of her medicines and stuff like that and my my son he gets Medicare pays for some but then some of his medicines and stuff like that they do not pay for naturally and he has to pay for the and so with his small income well we have to reach out and we got to help him he doesn't live with us nor does Cree and maybe sometimes it'd be better if they did I don't know <laughs> I don't know but they want their independence and I can see a reason why. And you take T 
Terry. I don't know how come my children is so ended up in the condition and sick as they are. Uh, but then there is Terry, uh, my youngest son. He has to live with us because he has got hepatitis C or whatever they call it and he's got psoriasis that's all over his arms and his knees and his legs and everything and uh, he tried working but then he's got a knee his knee he injured his knee here four or five six years ago and he limps and he walks on it and he hasn't any insurance and he has tried to get through some of the the places to get help or whatever or to maybe well his knee just needs to have surgery well my husband and I are just we don't have that type of money that we can get surgery for him I hate to say that but he, he you know and uh, he's got the psoriasis and it just itches him to death and uh, so we have to buy the medication for him to try and keep it down but it keeps spreading and since Oregon don't have sunshine, they say the sun helps that we're we have to pay for his tanning for a month. We just pay, buy his tanning and then we try to help him out that way. So you see, there's a lot of people that just doesn't have the burden that my husband and I, but we thank the Lord every day for our circumstances that we can tighten our belt and my children come first above all my children come first I brought them into this world and a lot of people says well after they're 18 out the door they go and whatever happens to them happens to them not by me not by a long shot so I'm just saying that with us now I feel like get the congressmen, the governors, the House of Representatives, the president, and all the people that runs our states, and that is in up on Capitol Hill and everything else then they should not vote themselves into getting an increase in wage either. They get plenty. And you know that their families and them don't have to worry about medical bills because that comes along with the job. Me as a taxpayer, I'm paying even for them. My taxes that I pay even pays for their medical. So I can tighten my belt, why can't everybody else and them? That's the way I feel about it. Now I don't want to hear that our governor got a great big raise here in Oregon, or any of the representatives or anything from Oregon got a big raise. And I don't want to hear them on Capitol Hill up there in Washington, D.C. getting a big raise either. So we're all having a tough time. So this is my saying that even if the, some of their children are, I'm quite sure that they've got insurances on them. And if people like me can try and fight this and get by some way or other, then I think that they should not expect to have a wage increase either. And everything's a going up. 
our electricity has gone up this year twice they've raised the electricity on us the garbage bill they've raised the garbage bill on us to pick up the garbage sanitation the water has raised they have raised the phone the cable everything that we have in this household they have come along and raised it quite a bit but we're struggling and we're getting along the best we know how and I thank God and I thank the Lord every day and I tell my children and I tell my husband and I also tell the Lord up above that I thank you for our circumstances as it is but I do feel so sorry for some of the people that they have not they're not as well off I'm not a well off person but I know a lot and I see them every day out on the streets and my heart cries out for them but you know I give to the missions and I give to the food banks and things in this town I do what I can do maybe it's not much but I do what we can do so I just want to tell you this is the way I feel that uh, we don't get a raise in our Social Security again. This is two years in a row. We'll live and we'll get by. And thank the Lord, He will see that we get by some way or other. I'm quite sure of that. So that is all that I've got to say on this matter, and it has gone on and on enough. So I want to bless each and every one of you out there in YouTube land. And I pray for everyone in this whole nation. And I pray for our president. And I pray for all of the leaders. And the vote is about to begin here in November. So vote with your eyes open. And vote who, not by parties, but vote with your heart and who you think is going to be the very best so it's left up to us how our nation is run so we have got the vote so god bless you and keep you all bye now from Meta.